Okay, so welcome back to another um, discussion on our RME online review. So at this moment, we will be um, tackling about electrostatics. So electrostatics, there are two laws. So the Coulomb's law, in which the first law states that like charges repel and unlike charges attract. So meaning that, for example, if you have two charges which are of um, unlike char uh, unlike charge, so they will be uh, they will be attracted to each other. So, for example, if you have a positive charge and a negative charge, so they will be attracted to each other. But if you have two charges with um, like polarity so they will be repelling or moving away from each other so the force that exists between them is characterized by the second law of electrostatics in which the force of attraction or repulsion between two charges is directly proportional to the product of the two charges and inversely proportional to the square of the charges between them so if we are going to write the mathematical equivalent of this law so the force of attraction and repulsion between them is directly proportional so I will write the symbol for proportionality so that will be directly proportional to the product of the two charges so we have u1 u2 Q1, Q2 and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the charges so let's have it one as R squared so if I'm going to make a representation of this one R squared okay. so for example if we have two charges here so we have charge Q1 and charge Q2 so the force for example if they are um, they are unlike charges the Q1 is a positive um, charge and Q2 is a negative charge so they will attract each other so the force of attraction that exists between the two is described by this uh, by this formula and the distance between them is the R now we will go to capacitance so capacitance is the measure of how will a capacitor can store electrical charges so the, the very first capacitor that is made is the Hayden chart if you've been watching for the few videos so probably the first video so uh, it was discussed that Leyden jar is a device created that can store electrical charges so basically the Leyden jar is the first first capacitor so the unit for capacitance is farad and capacitance can be described by the formula C is equal to Q Q over E wherein your C is the capacitance your Q is the charge and E is the voltage so this formula is very useful for us to solve problems involving capacitance charge and voltage okay so let's have some examples so first example an electrolytic capacitor is rated at 60 farad if it is connected to a 220 volt source what is the amount of charge in the capacitor 
Okay, so we have our solution. First, we will write the given. So, our given is we have the capacitance which is 20 farad and the voltage which is 220 volts and the required is the amount of charge in the capacitor so if we are going back to the to our formula of C is equal to Q over E so we can solve for Q so by using basic um, basic algebra we could manipulate the equation so Q will be equal to E times C so we have 220 volts that is for our voltage and 60 farad for our capacitance so we will use our calculator so we have 220 times 60 and that will be equal to 13,200 coulomb so the unit for charge is coulomb so that will be now our answer okay so let's have again another example so in this example calculate the capacitance of a capacitor if 200 volts is applied onto it and release 90,000 column okay so let's have the solution so our given so our e is equal to 200 volts and our um, column so that is the charge is equal to 90,000 this is the unit for that is column so we are solving for the capacitance okay so going back to our formula let's try another color of a pen so c is equal to q over e so we have our q is 90,000 so 90,000 column over the voltage of 200 volts so we will have 90,000 divided by 200 volts so that will be equivalent to 450 farad so we will just have the unit for our capacitance as farad but in smaller cap capacitors the unit for capacitance is in microfarad so you will just take note of this one because uh, the micro that is equivalent to 10 to the power of negative 6 so for example if you have 3 microfarad so that will be equivalent to 3 times 10 to the power of negative 6 farad of or if you want to have this one as a decimal form so just write 3 so because it's a whole number the decimal is on the right so we move 6 decimal places 1 2 3 4 5 6 and for every place in which there is no number so we write 0 2, 3, 4, 5 then this is now our decimal 0 so you so 3 to the power 3 to the power of 3 times 10 to the power of negative 6 will be equal to 
zero point zero 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 three farad and this is the equivalent of three microfarad in um, farad okay so thank you for watching and i hope you learned something from this video and as always in order to pass the exam keep on studying